Hey guys, I'm Sonnet with Sonnet's Garden Blooms and I want to welcome you all to my channel. And in today's video, we are dispersing what was left at Antique Acres and we are putting those items in my three booths, uh, which was a huge undertaking. It actually took me uh, all Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday. So a full three days to do three full resets of my booths and really uh, disperse those items. So I hope you enjoy today's video. It's going to start off showing you what I all had at Antique Acres. So if you've been following along, you may see that first clip. And um, after that, I'm going to bring you along and show you how my booths all turned out. I am absolutely loving the transformation. I still need to do a few things over at Water Street Vintage yet. Uh, but I feel really good that all three booths are very, very full, actually extremely full. Um, but I'm going to continue on uh, flipping and thrifting and prepping just to make sure I have backup items because I know those items will sell uh, now that people are getting back into the buying mode. Um, I know that the booths this last month have been very slow for everyone and I think that has a lot to do here in Wisconsin. We finally had a very very nice warm up and everyone wanted to get in their yards, clean it up, um, just a lot of yard prep. Plus there's rummages uh, but now I know things are going to turn around and moving forward the booths will definitely be picking up. All right well I hope you guys enjoy and uh, let me know at the end what you all think. Day one of Antique Acres and here is a peek of the booth. Now if you all have been following along you're going to have seen this in my past video um, but I did sell this uh, set of table and chairs and it did sell the first day, probably midway through the day, and they wanted to take it right away. So I had to quickly change my booth up um, to fill that void. Uh, so I took another, that little table and chair set in the center, and I moved that over. Another thing that sold right away is that yellow, um, really cool, chippy, um, like stool that sold um and then on the last day uh that chair sold and i think that it was tucked in too much but once i put it like right out front and center that sold right away um i was really surprised that little black cabinet had not sold uh but again maybe a placement in the booth um, but a lot, that barn quilt sold, the sign up there sold, all of my ball jars sold, um, and a ton of barn quilts, uh, and many of the small pieces, the large barn quilt sold, um, everything actually on top of the green um, hutch, that all sold. Um, all of this stuff that was sitting there, that sold. Many of these pieces within the hutch sold as well. And, um, but again, all, everything on this top shelf, every item sold. So I just wanted to give you a peek at this, um, tell you what all sold. Um, on here, uh, my little case that you guys all saw me do, that sold. The pink um, wall hanging thing sold. A couple of those baskets. Uh, I was really surprised that Grandfather Clock has not gone. Um, but I will be maybe doing something to it if it doesn't go at the goat. Um, and then that black dresser sold. Um, the little two... Uh, apothecary color drawers sold um, so um, and just a lot of the barn stars um, so it was kind of like a mixed bag of what all sold um, I did put greenery throughout and a lot of the greenery sold those two pictures down there sold Another thing that really surprised me that did not sell were two of the Bohemian Blue chairs that I had placed within the booth. Neither of those sold, but um, I once this 
first day uh, was over, we did do a complete booth reset, and that's what I'm going to show you next on day two. So I did do a complete booth reset between day one and day two, and I did this because in case there were uh, people that came the first day, uh, then if they were back on the second day, the booth would look completely different. I also grabbed just a couple items from home. I was going to, you know, pull together a bunch more, but I was so exhausted between day one and day two. I just came at six o'clock and did the reset. And I was very surprised that day two, I did sell more than I did on day one. But uh, in the end, um, it was just an excellent event and I love doing it. And here I'm going to show you what it looks like totally empty. And there, everything is out. It did take me three days, but it is completely gone out of the barn. So I started over at the Yield Goat. I did pack up the hutch and quite a few smalls so that I could start restocking at the Yield Goat. Um, I did that all Sunday. I moved a bunch of stuff around and then I ended up going to Water Street Vintage. And if you remember those two really cool white dressers, I took them out of Water Street Vintage and I brought them to the Goat. Uh, then at Water Street Vintage, I did put two um, different items that were at the goat and I put them into Water Street Vintage. So I moved some pieces around. I do get asked that question a lot. Um, you know, what if something's not selling at one location? You can always take it out of one location and put it into another. And the goat uh, furniture items sell very well here. So I wanted to get those pieces over here. Plus I felt like with that hutch, that green hutch, the inside has that the white uh, swan and that beautiful like floral. I thought the uh, dressers would go perfect with it. Um, with this reset, I created um, here a little potting bench and I put all like the flowers and then different things for, um, you know, that would remind you of being outside, you know, for a potting bench. So I tried to incorporate like colors together and I love how this turns out. Uh, and then as we go into the booth, I did bring the grandfather clock here and I dispersed uh, amongst the three booths, the barn stars, the barn quilts, and I just tried to incorporate um, in each of the booths different light colored pieces. Uh, so there was a really nice flow. And then if you remember that black piece that I showed you from the previous clip, I brought that to the goat and I incorporated a lot of the yellows there to make it pop. And one thing that I am going to strive to do in all my booths is just to make sure that there's a lot more greenery. I always added a little bit, but what I noticed or discovered when I did Antique Acres is that I had a lot more and I think it really helped. Uh, it just warmed everything up. Now there's the dresser that I brought over and remember um, from my last video, my dad actually helped. Um, I had those two tables. He helped me um, screw them together and I thought having them right on top of each other, if somebody was interested in buying both, they would be there for side tables. And I, again, incorporated, like I said, a lot more greenery here. I just think this whole booth just really flows with the colors. Um, I love it. And I just, I think it's real bright. Um, the whites also like neutralize like all the colors. Um, and then I had uh, quite a bit of reds and blacks and whites. So I just made this little nook and I incorporated all of that right on the outside. So I think this turned out so nice and I'm very, very excited um, to have just a really refreshed booth here. And you can see that 
Um, this is the other dresser I brought over. The other thing that went re over really well too was that those little faux cement uh, pairs. Uh, and so I'm going to be adding more of those in my booths too. So I thought that was just a really um, cute add-on. Um, on the table, I try to add a lot of my dishes, um, things like that, and uh, I had a couple sons left, so I put one over here at the goat, and then I brought one over uh, to antique up, but I also had more crocs and items like that, so I filled it all back up again to make that hutch look real full. Um, but I think um, this is just a good refresh and I love how it all looks and feels and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. So next we hit up Water Street Vintage and I brought over the apothecary dresser which totally surprised me that this did not sell. Uh, I also thought about bringing over this arbor. Um, I did not want to sell it. I wanted to actually use those pieces in my yard but I thought um, it would be a great piece to just uh, you know change it up here make it look a little different. Um, it is not as stable as I had hoped um, so I do need to do a minor adjustment on that. Um, one item I brought from the goat over here was that black bench. I did have two. I had sold one at the goat. I just wanted to add a little bit of seating over here so I thought that would be perfect. Um, I did bring that little table and chair set with the pink pillows. I thought that looked super cute. Um, and then I brought that wicker um, lounge. I am going to be making some pillows that match the lounge. That was one item I did not get done. Um, the sewing was kind of kiboshed at the end when I was getting everything ready. Um, so I have quite a few pillows that I want to add to this and to a couple other displays. So I'll be working on that. Um, but again, I like I said, I, I dispersed uh, the barn quilts, the barn stars, um, and another area I'm going to be working on next week after the holiday is my IOD section. I definitely want to get the rest of um, my stamps in here, my molds. Um, uh, I have a lot, but a lot has sold, so I and that is going to definitely be a work in progress next week. Um, and I love this little um, table uh that black little table I, I maybe i do need to move that it's been here at water street vintage for a little bit um, but i brought this shelf over from the goat i just thought that way i can display some smalls on there and my booth here is not super huge if you remember from the beginning i started with a half a booth i did expand um, but uh, maybe I need to get three booths, guys, because I feel like it's just never big enough. The last booth I worked on was over at Antique Up, and this got a major overall. Uh, if you remember this booth, my mom and I used to share, and I she decided she wanted to, with being retired, she wanted to narrow it down to one booth over at the Goat, so I took on the entire booth, and it's been like definitely a work in progress getting all the product here. So this was perfect that I had a lot, um, or you know, I had created a lot 
lot of items for antique acres so all the excess came here as well so um, in one of my recent videos I did do that hutch so that had been brought over I'm very surprised that has not sold yet because that is absolutely gorgeous and I love it um, but one thing I did do here at uh, antique up is I added the DIY paint line over here and I today what I did is I moved a lot around so um, the table and chairs had been in there I thought it just needed a little refresh so I brought it over by that hutch or by that buffet so I thought that would be perfect and I also redid all the displays on top of the ladders uh, I went up there and I wiped everything down um, I also um, I have two shelves on the back wall I put 33 inch barn quilts there to really make a statement uh, moved everything about though added a lot of greenery throughout the whole um, display and I'm really loving how this turned out uh, in the end I had everything displayed and I'm like oh my goodness I have two more pieces that I need to bring in and one was uh, the colorful table that I put underneath um, that round table and then this little turquoise bench. So I maneuvered a few more items around and I got everything to fit. I really do love how it turned out, like I said, and I just think uh, the colors here flow really well. Um, I'm just, you know, I am very excited um, by how full it looks. It doesn't look too full. It just is perfect. And I think that's how I feel about all my booths. I think out of all three, Water Street does definitely need a little bit more finessing. Um, but overall, I'm very excited to, and I feel very much accomplished um, because I have three fully stocked booths now and um, going into the summer. And now I can can really start focusing on prepping for Cranberry Fest, which is coming up uh, in October. I know it's not anytime super soon, but there's a lot of prep that goes into that to a day event as well. And it's not really a lot of furniture. It's more items to sell. So I have to prep for that. Plus I need to start prepping um, for items for my fall and winter booth. So that's what I have to start focusing on now um, is fall, winter, and cranberry fest. So this makes me feel so good that I have three completely full booths and obviously I'll be thrifting and flipping and doing all those things um, to continue to fully stock keep my booth stocked and get things ready uh, for fall and winter. But I really do hope you enjoyed this little tour um, where you saw like what I all did um, for my last video, um, what it all went in, you know, went into setting up antique acres and then really dispersing it. Um, and it's great that, you know, I wanted to sell out. Everyone's like, sell out, sell out. I'm like, but I need items for my booths too. So it was a good thing to have some items left over. Um, but I'm thanking you all for following along. And I can't wait to hear what your favorite booth was. So what did you guys think? I loved how all the booths turned out. I should have actually gotten a clip um, due to extreme exhaustion. <laughs> I'll just let you know. I didn't do a lot of, I just knew I wanted to show you um, the initial like ending of what the booths look like. I, uh, after um, the last week and a half, um, my life has been pretty chaotic. So. I finally feel today like I'm a bit rusted, but um, no, I, I, I can't even lie. I'm not rusted yet. I think after Memorial Weekend, when after I head up north to our cabin, 
we go on a pontoon boat ride, we relax in the boat, then I'll be relaxed for coming up on next week. Anyway, well, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. And if you haven't been to my channel before, what you are going to find is a lot of DIY, thrift hauls, thrift flips, and a day in the life of a small business owner. I really like to bring you guys along, show you what it's like to have a small business, uh, show you my booths. So uh, I hope you do enjoy that aspect of the channel as well. I love doing flips and just, uh, you know, doing DIYs as well, but really there's a whole another aspect of owning a small business and I like to bring you along for that and if you uh, do like this type of channel go ahead hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so every Monday and Friday when I do upload a video you'll be notified and if you like today's video go ahead give me a thumbs up and really what was your favorite booth I'm kind of torn I I can't pick a favorite I each one is so unique to me um, I have a lot of staple items that are the same in the, the booths, but each one has a different, unique feel. So I love them all. All right. We will see you guys Monday and you have yourselves a happy and safe Memorial weekend. Bye.